Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Transformers The IDW Collection Phase 2 Volume 11 We got a nice uh, picture of is it the DJD um, I'll be honest I was hoping for more from them but um, I don't know if something happens later but they're just hovering in the background it's, it's really bizarre so maybe the fact that he's on the front there's going to be something decent going down in this collection. Here is the back cover. Looks very nice. Nice synthesis down there. And this collects issues 46 to 50. Transformers, More Than Meets the Eyes, issues 50 to 55. The short story Silent Light and Redemption. So very, very nice. And on the side... Got a nice number 11. Very, very cool. So, I'm not sure when Phase 2 is meant to happen or whether they're even going to get on to Phase 3. Um, you've got the Artemis Prime series coming up as well at some point in the future. You've also got the crossovers. I'm not sure if they're going to be included in here, in this run. All these hardcovers. Um, but I think that would be quite cool. So here are all the writers, artists, colorers, etc. I'm just going to do a brief kind of little flick through on some of the pages. Um, I love this art. This is like the um, the autocracy. Oh, I can never say it. You know that that series that ran um, the they like the prequels, I guess you would call them. I always like that kind of dark kind of tone art in here. Like I said, I have no idea what happens in these series at all. Some nice little art there. Very, very colorful. Um, looks very um, kind of animated as well. So kind of dig that. So I believe Optimus Prime, I guess he's back on Cybertron. And what I got from the synthesis, he's um, a bit unsure on his place in the universe, I guess. So, pretty darn interesting. And I'll see where that takes us. Uh, we got the Victorian. We got the whole Starscream stuff. Hey, we got maybe some Joes there. It's pretty awesome. So, like I said, I have no idea. I've never read um, individual comics. I know a lot of... IDW fans have and you know diehard fans um, I'm still on the fence because they've got the new hard covers coming out for the, for the new series I'm still on the fence of whether I want to get them or whether I want to steer clear. I, I really enjoyed this run um, Not sure if it ran its course or whether they thought it ran its course, but um, I, I enjoyed everything that I've read so far so and, and I feel like do I want to step back into Transformers when it finished? I hate the whole rehashing, rebooting, etc. It drives me bloody barmy. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's my nice little cover art at the back. Hey, I like that. Reminds me of Beast Wars mix. Pretty awesome. Nice little covers there. And I think that is probably about it. There we go. So, um, as usual, Hasbro, Hasbro, IDW have produced these lovely, lovely books of this run. Um, and the run has run its course. Funny enough, um, I um, no longer have the full collection I once had. I ended up selling it so I could buy a car, which was um, worth it in my mind. Um, but these are beautiful books. Um, and... If you can go back and get the other ones, you can have a really nice collection. Um, one thing I worry about is over time, I don't, unless you really look after them, I, I, I feel like they could be damaged by knocks. So just one thing to bear in mind. Other than that, they do a good job. And if you like the IDW universe, th this is the best way to get, I think, phase one, volume one to ten, and then phase two, um, one to eleven so far. So, like, comment, subscribe, uh, follow me on Facebook, my page is Smurf P, follow me on Twitter at Smurf P, 
I'm tweeting and stuff. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm there. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.